another mukbang monday it's your favorite dynamic duo Mars and shanti and we're gonna send the next special today which, which is spinach, spinach dip. dip and guacamole and salsa i didn't know if it was spinach artichoke dip it is okay because i was about to, i was like <laughs> <laughs> i'm trying to like listen to you as you were saying it it is spinach artichoke dip dip nick <laughs> <laughs> But I felt like we already established that it was spinach dip, so I didn't want to throw you a curveball. Yeah, I was curved regardless. Before we get into the video, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you're new here. We are Mukbang Monday. We post videos every Monday that are um, fun mukbangs and chit chats, so come join our little family. Mm -hmm. And we want to give a shout out to our patrons at Patreon. Thank you guys for supporting our channel. We post extra videos over on our Patreon page, so go check it out if you want to support our channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's about it. Did you oh. say give this video a thumbs up? No. Oh, but do that as well because <laughs> it helps us out. Helps uh, our reachability. <laughs> so yeah, you, you know. <laughs> um, I'm a little delusional. Yeah, Brittany has gone back to work. The outdoor dining has resumed in California. Even though we're like the epicenter, like everything, it's like. Deadliest area is Los Angeles. And I'm like, let's open. I'm like, fuck it. But I just think our economy is like crashing. Tanking? Yeah. So. Yeah, it's interesting. Who knows? But yeah, I worked last night. It sucked. Did not miss it. Yeah, how many tables did you say there were there? 180 covers. That is. How do you have room for that many people? It's in a parking lot. So they own a parking lot too, like on oh. their land. So they just moved all the tables outside. Is it a big parking lot? Yeah. It's huge. So you have to run around a parking lot? Yes. Oh my god, that sounds That's awful. why my back hurt so bad, because it was like concrete stomping. Mm. Uh -uh. Well, I filmed the little recipe for this video, for this, for this recipe. I filmed the recipe for this recipe. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know how it came out, but I will show you the video now. Okay, so I started out by sauteing a half of an onion and a few cloves of garlic until they were soft. Then I added in one jar of artichoke hearts that I diced up really small. And next I added one 10 ounce package of chopped frozen spinach. And I tried to break it up beforehand so it wasn't just like one solid brick. And then I just let that cook for a few minutes until the spinach wasn't frozen anymore. And then in a blender, I made the creamy sauce. I used one and a half cups of raw cashews, a half a teaspoon of salt, I did a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. I think that was a little much. It was very nuchy. So maybe just do like two tablespoons. And then I did a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, about one and a half cups of water. And I just blended all that together. And then I poured in the cashew cream into the spinach and onions. And then I transferred it into this glass baking dish um, just for the mukbang, but you could bake it in like the cast iron. And then I baked it for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Okay, okay, now that's <laughs> over. <laughs> so we have cucumber, carrots, peppers, crackers, chips, guac salsa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna ruin it because it looks so beautiful. I know, right? I just gotta dig on in here. Oh, and we made this because uh, we're trying to do like a Super Bowl theme. Yeah, Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl is on Max's birthday again this year. Oh, fun for him. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, mmm. Oh, I'm good. Mm -hmm. Better than I thought. You're worried about it, but I think it's really good. Well, I like, I dunked my finger into it before it was ready, and I thought it kind of tasted like weird. sat. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it tastes better now. I keep on breaking these chips. I gotta see the thumbnail. I know, they're not very sturdy. I have like dip on my tooth. Show them. Wait, there's legit spinach in my tooth. <laughs> no, let me see. <laughs> I think I got it. Yeah, you got it. Mmm. It came out good. With the tortilla, the saltiness of the tortilla. Mm. These are um, garlic chive pita chips, by the way. Mm. Oops. <laughs> wow, look at it. it's still steaming. She's steaming. Oh, I love that. Oh my god. These are really just happy. Look, a I, I forgot my other <laughs> cracker in here. <laughs> just saving her for later. Oops. Mm. 
Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. So good. This is super healthy too. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's, um. So I have to feel, I don't have to feel bad about housing it? No, you can literally like house the entire thing. Really? Yeah. Well, there's a lot of, um, cashews in it, so it's pretty like fatty, but it's not like it's like vegan cheese fatty, you know? Yeah. It's a good source of fat. Yeah. But it's cashews, artichoke, onion, garlic. Um,. Lemon juice, nutritional yeast, salt, pepper. Where can I buy nutritional yeast? I go to Trader Joe's. Oh, I go there. Mm, this is hitting the spot. It's like super random. Yeah. But I love dips. I'm such I a knew dip person. You did. And you love chips. Mm. And I love chips. That's like my two. Like, I'm disgusting. I buy that French onion dip in the jar. Mm. And the ranch dip. I always want to get spinach and artichoke dip at like restaurants or. Chili cheese dip. Mm. We should make more dips because our last dip video, it came up on my recommended for some reason and had a lot of views. What did we make? We made French onion dip. Mm. Yeah, I can dip Buffalo that. cauliflower dip. Mm. I think like a year ago. We should make more dips. I'm totally on. Let us know in the comments. My favorite dips because I feel like it's like an untapped gold mine. Like I feel like there's a lot of dip. Possibilities. Oh, yeah. Possibilities are endless. Mm -hmm. So tell me about your background job. Oh, okay. So did I tell you what I tried to apply for potential classroom? Because mm -hmm. I freaked out about my SAG eligibility, but I was like wrong. So I was like, oh my God, I need more SAG cards, uh -huh. but then you can't even like apply. Yeah, they're closed. It's a COVID. Mm -hmm. It's crazy. Yeah, when I registered, you have to go in person, wait in line at like 6 a.m. If there's too many people, then they turn you away. You have to go, and they you can only register on like Tuesdays. And so you have to like wait another week and like wake up early, wait in line. Why do you have to and wake then, up early? Is that just their only time frame? Yeah, it's the only time you can register. And because there'll be so many people, like you want to like get in. But then when you finally do get in, you have to do like a two hour like training and they like give you a PowerPoint presentation on DAs and like not like spoiling the set and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, I went back to work. It's been really dead since Christmas. Like I haven't got any work basically. Yeah, I've realized if I ever want to travel again, post COVID, January. I, there was nothing going on. No, though, like, yeah. So I worked on Friday. I had to go to three, one, two, three COVID tests to work on Friday. One shift. One, one day. Three tests. <laughs> Are you serious? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Like, it's just overkill. I think so too. Like that, you just need it the, the day before, day of. Yeah. I, I, they're just being extra cautious, I guess. At least like, I don't have to pay for it. They have to pay for it, but. It's got to be so expensive for them. Yeah, but it sucks because when you're getting that many COVID tests, how much does it like cut into like how much you could be getting paid? Like when I worked that job for HBO, I was talking to their director. You have to be free the whole day. Yeah. Is well, that what you're gonna say? No, I. Oh. I was talking to the director and I, um, he asked me to bring like my own leather jackets. I was like, really? Like kind of, not that was like, nah, but I was like, wow, that's really crazy. Like HBO is such a big company. And he was like, I was like, oh okay, like I, I thought there'd be wardrobe. Like I'll bring something tomorrow. And he was like, yeah, well, HBO gave us a set budget and over half of it had to go to COVID testing. Mm. Mm -hmm. So now we're just like trying to see where we can like save money. I was like over half, cause it's not just like the talent, it's everyone, everyone, the whole crew. Like and there's the PAs like, even like I'll need to be tested. And I was like, wow, over half. And HBO like has a ton of money. So I can't even imagine how expensive COVID testing is. Yeah. They say like it's like $300 each time per person. 
I believe it. Especially the rapid ones. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I had anything else to say. What, so what, what was it like going back to work for the first time since? Oh my god, it, it Basically honestly, we had like another lockdown-ish. Yeah, we had another lockdown from like December till like now. Yeah, maybe like two months. And then today when we're filming this, it was like literally a couple of days ago that Gavin Newsom like lifted it. Lifted the, um, yeah, restrictions. Mm-hmm. So now I think restaurants can open outdoors, hair salons. I think the mall. I like think you can shop again. Mall's been open. Oh really? Isn't that wild? You can go in the mall, but you can't like go a lot of other places. I just assumed the mall was closed, I guess. Yeah, they were open all through Christmas. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Um. Anyway. Oh. Uh, but it is, there's nothing much to say about it. It was just really, it was downpouring. Oh, it's raining so hard this weekend. Yeah, and it wasn't raining in the morning, but then all afternoon it was downpouring, and we were in at one of the stages, and we had to like walk like, you know when you're like, we are, mm -hmm. and you know when you like walk from one stage to the other, it's like half a mile. Yeah, the stages are they're so far huge. apart. Yeah. And so we they didn't have like any shuttles or anything for us. We had to walk in the rain. In our costumes. That makes me so mad. Like when we did that Hulu show that we both were on, mm -hmm. they were just like, oh, it's in lot 16. I walked for miles. Yeah, they are like, I was good like, luck finding it. Where am I? I like, know, right? Well, and that was one of the first dancers that arrived because I feel like everyone was like, hello? Like, yeah. you're just in this like huge open area and you're just like searching. And then people are driving around on golf carts. And no one's asking me like, hey, you need a ride or whatever. They're just zooming by like on their own mission. You could walk like a, I'm pretty sure from the shuttle, not the shuttle. The front door. From the parking lot yeah. to our stage, it had to be a mile. We were walking for like 25 minutes. But they actually had people shuttling to the stages um, after we checked in. But then at night, it was just a free for all. And we were all like... Everyone was getting lost and it was downpouring. My bag, I came home, my, my shit was like soaking wet and uh, my sh shoes were completely wet because I'm like just like walking through puddles. I was like, they really just don't go up. Yeah, <laughs> it was just a free for all. So, yeah, would not recommend. I think I just cannot do this anymore. It's just, mm -hmm. it's just not worth it. Not they're not gonna take care of you. Well, what's super annoying is it's because it's a non union job, right? So there's no like, oh, really? But, like, I just listened to this podcast about, like, the union and, like, how, like, going FICOR can really, like, mess up the union. Not only SAG and AFRA, which is the actors' union, but, like, any union has FICOR. Mm. But it, like, depreciates the, like, value of SAG and, like, just lowers the rates for everybody, basically. Oh. But, like, SAG is, like, you pay your dues so that you're, like, protected. Well, the SAG people do get protected, but, so, like, half the people there are... They have to hire like a certain amount of SAG people, but the not the SAG people get treated like way better. Uh -huh. Yeah, they just get yeah, like they have to. They have or to. Else you, the company can get sued. Yeah, and then they can call and bitch. Mm -hmm. But like we don't have any one like to protect us. You. Yeah, they'll be like dance on concrete for ten hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, okay. Um. 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 um I forgot what else. Oh, we were there. But this is the kicker. We were there until 2.30. So a.m.? A.m., yeah. We're walking in the pouring rain a mile back to our car, and it's 2.30. That was really the kicker. Did and you get the, the overtime? Yeah, it was a lot of overtime, but by the end, I just... I'm just you like, don't even I want the overtime home. in the end. Yeah, like, I was like, I'm just falling asleep on set. Like, overtime seems, like, in writing, like, oh, that's a great deal, like, time and a half. Well, double time after two hours. Oh, really? Yeah, you get two hours of... Time and a half, and then after that you get double time. Which seems great, but like it, when you've been on set for 17 hours, you're just like, I would rather burn this money than be here <laughs> any longer. Yeah. Like, yeah. I feel, I will send you the clip because I think you're editing this one. Mm -hmm. When we did the American Horror Story commercial, I'm in the front row, legit sleeping. <laughs> I am sleeping. <laughs> oh my God, we, I don't know if when we've ever we talked that. about that. Like, we, oh, did we? Did we not? We probably never said what it was for, but we were in a, it was a promo video for American Horror Story. Yeah, like season seven, um, like basically like commercials and promo for the season coming up. That was like, what, four years ago? 
Yeah, it was a long time ago. And they had us on set forever. We they, got there so early. We got there so early. And they had us all in not only wig caps, but bald caps. And then they'd speckle our heads so they look real and put clown makeup on us. It's insane. Like Full airbrush makeup and bald caps. And there was like probably like 50 people there, like 50 dancers. Because they had this like huge choreographed like scene. It wasn't like choreographed like dancing. But it was like this like marching creepy stuff we were doing. Like remember yeah. we did that thing in the circle when the girl was like in the middle on like the board. Yeah. And we were just like... I remember there was this one guy who like was not a good dancer and he kept missing the count and I like yelled at him. start over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he was like, it doesn't matter. And I was like, it matters. And then I watched the promo, how it was cut at the end. I was like, it, it didn't matter. You cannot tell like one person messes up because they cut so much yeah. and so quickly but th between things. But he was like, he just didn't care and I like cared so much. I was just well, like- Because I feel like dancers like, you get it right on the first time. Yeah, like you gotta move on. You get one shot, baby. You're on stage. Yeah. Like Max's book. Favorite story from that booking is when I lost you. Oh my god. There was so so. I don't know if it's like if we can like insert photos or I don't think so. Because we're we're technically under NDA, but can we even like talk about it now? I think so. I mean, it's been so long. Yeah, and it's already been out. So like. yeah, like and I've shared it. It's like on my reel and my resume. And, like mm -hmm. you know what I mean, but. I don't know, we could maybe flash like a picture for one second, they can pause it. <laughs> <laughs> but we just didn't look like ourselves because we were in full clown, like creepy clown makeup. And there was like 50 dancers and some people who were just bald. Like they paid people who were actually bald more money because then they didn't have to like spend all the time. Did they really? It. Yeah. I was pissed. Anyway. Wow. Um, so I had it a was lot like, of hair back then. My hair was like mid back. Yeah. I never had a lot of hair, but... It, Every single makeup, like, it was crazy. We start breaking for lunch in sections, and I was one of the last people to get, like, my wig cap on, I remember, because I was freaking out. You know, I felt like I, I took forever, too, because I came out of hair and makeup, and everybody's in their wardrobe, and I was like, I don't have my wardrobe yet. Yeah, and I knew, like, some people were already taking, like, the picture promos, mm. and, like, I hadn't even had, like, my wig cap on yet, and I was like, what the f He took the group A to, like, learn the choreography. And I hadn't learned it yet, and I was like freaking out because everybody was like practicing the choreography, and I like didn't know it. Yeah. So yeah, it was just like so many people, just like a big mess. Yeah, big mess. And then they were breaking us in groups for lunch, so I lost Chantal. Yeah. And I, I was just walking around by myself, <laughs> could not find Lonely her. Clown. Everybody was like, was like, whatever. I was like, Brittany. Yeah. And then Brittany. finally, I don't even remember how we found each other. No, I feel like you're like, me alone. And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like literally, Wait, no, like, I think so I found you at lunch with Bridget. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, it wasn't yeah. until lunch that we were like finding each other again, and I was like, oh god. Like, I was like, you left me. <laughs> but I like couldn't find her. Like, at one point, I was like, Chantal? Chantal? <laughs> like, into a void of like 50 dancers. I was like, Hello? yeah, I was, I was like, alone for like the whole day, I felt like, <laughs> just wandering by myself. And we had different shifts for like hair and makeup. So once yeah. you like. They like start shuttling you in like different areas and stuff. It was crazy. And then once I like, like found you and I feel like I lose you again, I would look at your shoes because we were wearing our own boots. Yeah. So I was like looking at people's shoes, trying to find Chantal's shoes. Oh, so cute. But we were there for f ever. Um, how ever. late? What? How late did we wrap? It had to be like two a.m. again or yeah, something. Yeah, we're. I think it was like an eighteen-hour day. But the last scene they shot was us rocking back and forth <laughs> <laughs> like like it was like rows of dancers like on a on steps mm -hmm. and then each row were like going the opposite and then one girl like pops out and like screams I you begin to like insert I feel like it's a commercial that's like out you think I'm yeah kind of nervous and I wanna I will clip it for you zoom <laughs> in to me I'm like this <laughs> like literally <laughs> like everyone's looking out and <laughs> I'm looking down because I am nodding off. Like I rocked myself to sleep whilst filming. <laughs> I was gonna say you rocked yourself to sleep. No, literally, I'm like, because I knew it was me because I have X's over my eyes. Oh yeah, like mine are like super. I know. I prominent. I was looking for the X's. Yeah, but yeah, you can literally see me in the commercial. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, by the end, like we did all the shot, like the choreography, and like we did all the stuff that we wanted, and then by the end they just kept on making us do. Okay, now we're gonna do this next thing. Okay, now we're gonna just. They're do like one more rushing thing. through these more shots, and I was like, Yeah, he was just kept adding on shots, and we were like, all so tired. Oh my god. We I could not wait to get that shit off my face. No. We had like they legit glued the wig cap, like, the wig ball glued caps. to our heads, and then we had to go home and take it off ourselves. 
Yeah. <laughs> like, no one, like, helped us professionally take it off. Like, I just ripped that shit off. Yeah, same. That was crazy. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. Me and um, Bridget, one of our other friends, we don't have any pictures together, even though we've known each other for, like, 10 years. <laughs> you only have the clown. So, literally, anytime it's, like... Real friends roles. We just send, we just send each other the clown pictures. <laughs> We're like, should we submit? Like, uh, it's us just being like, they're so creepy. Yeah, Ooh. that was really creepy makeup. That was fun though. I want to post one of those for Halloween. It was so good, but I don't want to get in trouble. Oh my god, I was just like flashback to like all the strange and like fucked up jobs we've done. My first like. One of the first jobs I ever did in LA was a music video for a... The cheerleading one? No, not th that was the first gig I ever did, but then after that I did a music video. It was two days of rehearsals for free, unpaid. And then, wait, no, the whole thing was unpaid. So it was two days of rehearsals and then one, two shooting days, oh all God. free. But at the time I was like... I just need footage. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna get the footage from it, like... I need the experience, like, I'm just gonna do it. That's how, like, everyone's mindset is, I feel like, when they- First go here. Yeah. So we're, like, mid-filming. The day, literally, we're there until, like, 3 a.m. again. We're just, like, like, on set for so long. Everybody's, like, pissed. Like, we all want to go home. We find out that only one of the dancers is getting paid. There's, like, five of us. One of them is getting paid. And so- <laughs> And after that, all of us dancers like rallied together. We were like, we are not coming back tomorrow unless you pay all of us. You yeah, can't you can't pay one person. Yeah, because she was like, how much? You, like, oh, like at least like it'll be an easy like three hundred dollars, right? And we were like, what? And yeah. did you guys get paid? So a few, some of them didn't come back. Some of the girls didn't come back for the second day. I think there was only like three of us that came back. And I was like, I'm just gonna go, like, we already know the dance, like, it'll just, I've never, like, really been on set before, I just wanted to, like, get the experience. Like, not be green, like, learn. Yeah, but some people didn't come back, and then some girls, like, <laughs> one girl, like, got I mean, her, I would like, be pissed. Yeah, oh my god, a lot, a lot of the girls were pissed. One girl, like, got her dad involved, and, like, they basically, like, berated, not berated, but, like, harassed them until they paid her the money, and I thought that was kind of funny. I was like, whatever, just, I already agreed to it, like, in my head, I wasn't gonna get paid, so I didn't really, yeah, I wasn't that pressed. Then you just learn, like, a valuable lesson that, like, don't work for free. Don't work for free, they will treat you like shit, they do not care about you. Yeah, and then, on top of that, for, like, months, we never, like, even if you work for free, like, the pro is that you're always gonna get some footage out of it to use, mm -hmm. we didn't see the footage for literally, like, years. Maybe like a year. Did it ever come out? Yeah, and then eventually I like typed it one day and I found it on YouTube, so I was able to like get the videos off YouTube. But you're in it for just like one second. Yeah, that's it's, like not thing. even good footage. I, I worked my first free music video. Actually, I guess I was in it kind of a lot. Really? Yeah. I went to watch it. I was in this girl Sh Shanisa's video who used to be famous like in the 90s and just tried to do a comeback. I choreographed a whole one minute solo for free. And I was like, whatever, this is like so much choreo. Like I was in the desert 4 a.m. Like, so like dust was like mm, flying, whatever. I remember, remember that. that. Mm -hmm. I was completely cut out the whole day. <laughs> Not a single ounce of footage. Not even, I think there's one shot of me next to her. That's it. Oh my God. None of my dancing. The whole music video was just her looking in the mirror, like being angry, like singing to herself about a guy. And I was like, wow, I learned to fucking never assume I'm gonna get footage. Uh-huh. Like. And, yeah, after that thing, I never worked for free again. Mm -hmm. It's just not worth your time. I even did that commercial that I choreographed and danced in the 80s Jazzercise one. Uh -huh. and I was so excited. We took so much footage. They used, like, 0. 0.5 seconds of a clip. Mm -hmm. Like, 0. 0.5. And I was like, well, I got paid, like, good for, like, choreography and stuff. But I was like, oh, my God, this would be great. I can start making a choreography reel. It's you, like... It's literally me, like, arm. <laughs> like one shimmy, and like one guy does like a middle split at one point, and that's it. And I was like, that wasn't any of the group numbers, like anything. We filmed so much stuff. Yeah. Remember this other job we did? The ballet. The music video? The ballet music video. I forgot about that. We were like just, they were like running down the street, and we just like, yeah, <laughs> run. They were like, okay, we want you all to jump on the count of four. Yeah. And we'd all go like, <laughs> wait, did that ever come out? Yeah. 
I've never seen it. Really? I didn't. I didn't, couldn't remember what the artist's name was. I'm sure you. I showed it to you. Like, were we just like not in it for like two seconds? Yeah. Like it's just the same thing. Oh my god, so funny. Yeah. Music videos are bullshit. <laughs> the only music video I'm actually in is the one where I'm like the love interest ballerina. Mmm. That's the only music video I've ever truly been in. <laughs> like all the other ones, it's like five seconds. Yeah, I, I feel like when you first move out to LA, you're like, oh my god, music video, like, so f***ing cool. But yeah. then when you actually, like, get it back, you're in there for, like, two seconds. One second, It's, yeah. like, really not that cool. No. It's obviously about the artist, like. Yeah. You just don't think about that when you're, like, new to LA. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's so funny. I feel like I'm in the mindset of, like, doing stuff for free again because I'm, like, trying to switch into acting. Mm. So I'm doing, like, short films to, like, learn. But what's nice is, like, they feel not as much like they're using you because they're not profiting off of it because most of the short films are student films mm -hmm. that are unpaid so it's like oh you're just helping them with like their senior thesis mm -hmm. when like where like a music video that potentially could make that person a lot of money and they just won't even pay you like it's so messed up yeah or commercial or whatever so it doesn't feel as like crappy working for free and i'm learning a lot by being on set like because you learn every time you are in front of a camera you know and around people and whatever yeah yeah i feel like we could do another part two of like talking about uh weird jobs things we've worked on i don't think we've, we've ever really because when we talk about it at first we can't say what it's for and then we just forget about it we yeah. like, never like update you guys because it's like months or years will go by mm -hmm. i have to watch the first one that we did and see what jobs we talked about in that one mm -hmm. to make sure i don't like repeat jobs because i'm sure there's been plenty that american horror story one is what a day. Yeah, that was the longest day. Um, okay, before we end, we'll give our, our little bachelor recap. bachelor recap. So it's hard because we're filming on Sunday, so it's been like a week. Yeah, I know. In the heat of the moment when I'm watching it, I'm like, I have so many things to say. Yeah, but now I should like been... take notes. But, uh -huh. but honestly, what I remember is them calling that girl a prostitute. Yeah, I was like, what's wrong with being, being an escort? I was like... Sex work is real work. Get your bag. I Who fucking cares. That's what I was saying too. I was like, I was telling that to Colin. Remember that, Colin? Especially in today's day and age, like it's sugar baby and sugar like daddies. That's like very openly discussed. Yeah, I feel like it's so much more like accepted. Now. And it's like, who cares what somebody else wants to do with their body? That has nothing to do with you. Those and everyone deserves love. So you're saying because she's an escort, like she should, she doesn't deserve a chance with Matt. Yeah. Exactly. But I also think that she was set up by the producers because isn't it strange how in the beginning of the episode she was like, I don't know, I get like weird vibes from her. Like I know she like is in Chicago. Apparently I saw on Instagram because the explore tab shows me they're both in like Chicago bottle service scene. Oh. So who cares? Because so pictures of Anna came up of her like in like a bra and underwear and, and like bottle service. Oh, so, so she's like, also a bottle waitress. Yeah, so the people are like, who are you to judge? I'm like, bottle serving is not escorting. Yeah. But it's funny to me that in the beginning of the episode, she was like, something's weird about her. And then all of a sudden she's calling her an escort. I feel like the producers must have planted that because they don't have phones. They mm -hmm. can't like text their friend and be like, hey, this girl, Brittany's on the show. What's so weird about her? Mm -hmm. Like they don't have any contact with the outside world. Yeah. So where did she all of a sudden halfway through the episode get the, the idea that she's an escort? Well, I think she said that she knew her from before. Beforehand. Yeah. Yeah, but saying you know someone from beforehand and then c calling them an escort is like a pretty big jump. Yeah, and to like put some, drag somebody's name to the mud like that when you have no way to like back up that accusation is pretty messed up. Because The Bachelor is like one of the top watch shows, so now mm -hmm. that girl's always gonna have that like attached to her unless people don't watch it. I don't know. Yeah. Just felt real scummy to me. My breaking point, I was like, I don't think I can watch this show anymore, was when they had to box each other in the face. Yeah. Like, what? They did it on The Bachelorette the season before. They made them, like, MMA fight in a ring. Like, wrestle. And I was like, this is messed up. Why? That's like I just have I have so many thoughts. I yeah. just, I don't even know. Where to put, like, women, to pin women against each other like that. Like, the show's already, like teetering on a line of like inappropriate and then to make them physically fight each other is they have like to punch each other in the face they're trying to physically fight for matt's love like that's so creepy matt's not that special there are so yeah. many other guys 
That makes insane. me feel like super. Yeah, I hate it. Yeah. And then. And did you look at their? I looked at their Instagram actually during the boxing because I was like, there's no way people are okay with it, and they were getting bashed. Really? Every single comment on the like the like newest picture when that episode came out was like, this is disgusting. Like I'm done with really? Bachelor. I didn't like, look up anything afterwards. Yeah, I always do because I have to like distract myself what's going on on the TV. Oh my god. After that, me and Colin were like, why? Why do we support the show? No. Why? Why is this has not been canceled? I wonder like. Why has this not been canceled? Let us know since it's our first time watching if like they've made people do that before or they're just like really reaching for date ideas since they're like stuck in a pandemic mm -hmm. like stuck in the in their bubble because i just can't believe that that would be like a normal date idea if if i was on that show i would say no thank you i'm i'm gonna I'm go home yeah i'm good okay. i'm not gonna punch someone in the face to prove my love for matt yeah like that's the weirdest shit i've ever heard in my life yeah like if you want to box for fun like for two consenting adults but it just feels like they put them in a position of like no choice yeah i don't know and they're like trying to knock the other person out to like win matt over it's yeah. so fucking weird and then afterwards right, like it literally said are you willing to fight for love yeah that's what the card said and then afterwards they're just like chill again they're like sorry i punched you in the face yeah <laughs> sorry i broke your nose well i feel like it's funny i think one of the girls ended up saying this but like in the end i feel like the girls get closer than like some girls even get to Matt because you spend more time with the women mm -hmm. than you do on like getting dates because there's like one guy and 40 girls so you're spending all this free time with the girls mm -hmm. so it's like they become friends like and then you're just punching each other like look it's very like culty vibes I don't know yeah weird vibes I don't like it at all no I don't even remember what else happened in that episode because I was so mm. oh the hot air balloon oh the new girls New girls. They were so mean to the new girls. Like, I would just never... I think they're going through so much trauma. Yeah, I just don't like how mean they are to, like... The, the new girls... The producers brought the new girls in. Why are you being mean to them? Yeah. Like, it's not their fault that, like... And you know what's crazy? It, and the girl Brittany said this. All those girls arrived at the same exact time to the mansion. So for the three weeks that, like, those girls had gotten known Matt Moore... Oh, that the other girls were in quarantine by themselves in a hotel room. Oh my god, really? Yes. So everyone had to get there and quarantine for like two weeks. And then the last like so were they couple of days before the show starts, they take your phone. So then all you have is a hotel room and fucking cable TV. So you literally go insane? Yes. So they were in the rooms by themselves for three weeks. And Wait. had shifts to like use the gym and stuff like that. So they were, they arrived at the same time as the other girls? So they yes. were there for like five weeks? Yes. Oh my, is that, how do you know that? Because I know, because Marilyn told me. Oh. Because <laughs> <laughs> like I know people on the show. Because Marilyn I, told me. <laughs> I also know, because. Um, Can you say that then? I guess, because like they, they have to know that they're quarantining. Yeah. You know, like they're trying to be safe. And the girl said it on the show, Brittany. And I know Kim, the girl who like came and like left. Oh, she really? She used to date like a YouTuber that's friends with. Max, like we went to Coachella together. Like, oh, really? We were like not together, but we like spent a good amount of the night together. Mm. The second weekend, I took Max after I took you. Uh huh. Yeah, and she's really nice. And because I asked Marilyn if she got to know Kim after she got the show, and she was like, no, because she was stuck in the room the whole time. <gasps> wow, I did not know that. So, yeah. So all the girls being so mean to them, I was like, they're on this show like just as much as you. Like, yeah, you guys are being such. It's not their fault. They got like a meanies. late start. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't really remember what else happened. The, the boxing really stood out to me as like, I don't know why I'm watching this yeah, garbage. Yeah, feel weird. Yeah. Anyway. Well, I'm still chomping away. <laughs> I'm pretty full. Um, comment down below some dips. Some dips you want to see us do, because this is really fun. We ate like literally almost half of it. Mm -hmm. So good. Um, yeah, and here comes Colin. Is there anything else you want to comment? Colin. Wow, right on the white carpet. <laughs> um, um, let us know if you want us to tell more story times of shows we've worked on. Mm -hmm. We'll do our best to see what we can remember to talk about. Yeah. Yeah, and that is it for today's video. We love you guys so much. I'll see you next time. Mukbang Monday out. <laughs>